This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross your eyes. Many end up in the ocean, polluting water and killing sea life. If we don't act now, by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. There's something you can do about it. I will stop sucking. I will stop sucking. We will all stop sucking. If you do. This is one of the most interesting campaigns <laughs> I've ever heard of. Stop <laughs> sucking. A lot of men got pissed when this first launched. All right. <laughs> Until they understood what it was about. Adrian Grenier is here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, yeah, welcome yeah, yeah. to the hey, show. Hey, hey. Hanging out. How you been, man? Good, man. Yeah. Good, yeah. We're, we're taking the world by storm with this. It's been great, actually. A lot of traction. Stop sucking. Yeah. Let's just clear it up for those who just tuned in and just heard me say stop sucking. That, that to <laughs> many, that might mean stop being whack. Right. You know, it can mean a whole lot of things. But what is stop sucking? Well, a lot of people suck. Yeah. I mean, most of us suck, right? It's part of our culture to yeah. suck on single-use plastic straws. Yes. I mean, they're so ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. 500 million every single day. Yeah. That's, I can't believe that. that they just cut it up a different, a different way. Half a billion Mm -hmm. Yeah, every single day, mm -hmm. and globally, it's like a trillion annually. So, a lot of these uh, straws are—they're not—they're not biodegradable. They're not compostable, mm -hmm. and if they're not treated right, then they end up in the ocean and they kill fish. Did you guys see the uh, the video with the, the straw up the turtle's nose? Oh, yeah, no. I saw that. I saw that. It's it's horrifying. So, and then also the fish are eating them. Yeah. And, and as the plastic breaks down, it goes into the fish, and then it goes up the food chain. And then, if you like to eat fish, you're eating plastic. You're eating plastic. Yeah, it goes up the food. I just How much bought fish? some. Yeah, I just <laughs> bought some red snapper yesterday. So, uh -huh. but in in and, wow. and so what what are we seeing? Because what the public doesn't see is how much pollution, how much plastic is actually in the oceans, right? Oh yeah, ten million tons every year. Ten million tons. It, and and when, with regards to straws, it's the equivalent of a whole garbage truck full of straws every minute. Wow. So that so the the scale is so enormous because we all use straws in like every day of our lives in uh -huh. everything we drink. I mean a lot of things, right? So on average, like two or three straws per person per day. So it's very e an easy problem to tackle. All you have to do is stop sucking. Stop sucking. Okay. That's easy for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? What does the government like? Is the does the, our government try to get involved? Or I mean, why well, is didn't it, we withdraw from the Paris uh, Accords recently or something? Yeah, I mean, look, our government. It, you know, it, we we do need strong legislation, but we need the people to demand it to say that that's what we want. That's the kind of life we want to live. Uh, but right now, people aren't even uh, you know tuned into it because it just seems so natural. Like, yeah. oh yeah, straws they're inevitable, but it's not true. In fact, we've actually made it easier for people to stop sucking we've made it easier for companies and restaurants venues corporations to uh switch from plastic straws uh -huh. to a marine friendly alternative and we and we think paper is the best alternative and and on our website strawlessocean.org backslash alternatives you can find a discount on paper straws if you want to get a good price on paper Mm -hmm. Paper straws, but, yeah. But then those who advocate for you know our trees and wood are going to protest that, right? Well, they have re renewable uh, trees that they mm -hmm. they grow every year. Yeah. So it's, okay. there's also glass yeah. straws you can get to. Oh, thanks, Adrian. I didn't they're realize gosh. that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Fuck them trees. I, I, I personally like the straw that my my mother gave me. This, this these straws. My, if you just pucker your lips a little bit, the you just straw. you sip. Yeah, sip don't suck. Yeah. Yeah, the that nipple. was the first the way we drank anyway. <laughs> oh, you talk about all talk, you talk about all talk, talk about the nipple straw. That's how okay. you first yeah, drink. You, what are you? That's how, right. How, you didn't need a straw when you were born, right? How, you, how, how, how are you getting people involved? Like, there's a is there a challenge going on? Or like to get people to stop sucking? Yeah, I've been calling people out all day long. You know, on on social, you know, you mm -hmm. hashtag stop sucking, and uh, you know, I, I recommend everybody to take the pledge and say that they will stop sucking, but then call some other people out. You know, if anybody that you know sucks or a company, you know, uh, Starbucks was like the top of the list. Like everybody's like, why doesn't Starbucks stop sucking? I'm like, that makes sense. Yo. He brings up a good point, yeah. though. I've been talking about it for quite some time, Adrian, working in restaurants and at bars. The straws are the nastiest thing. They're, they're open. They're exposed. Yeah. Um, bartenders and servers use their hands all the time. Mm -hmm. They grab these open straws, they put them in your drink, and then you turn around and put your mouth on them. So I always say, be careful. Take the straws 
off out of your drinks and not use them. People, I don't want to put my mouth on the glass. The glass is cleaner half of the time than these straws being exposed to everybody's germs and hands. It's crazy. Man, absolutely. It's a hard habit, though, to yeah. break. You know, and then and, and I was just, I had a friend who recently came um, by my house and was talking to me about straws mm -hmm. you yeah. know and actually the big lighters but we'll get into that another the plastic that, oh, they, yeah, that yeah. they make with the big lighters um and and i was i was trying to imagine how do i drink this shake that i have without a straw and i just took the lid off <laughs> so, you know, it, it, because, so you think it's so hard to stop using straws because if we don't stop using these straws what continues to happen yeah well we we pollute our planet we pollute mm -hmm. our home mm -hmm. you know my mom taught me to clean my room yeah we got to clean our room we got to clean our room mm, that's right all right yeah. let's take some phone calls if you think you can stop sucking if you think you don't have a problem using straws 888-742-3345 it's sway in the morning only on shade 45 <laughs> Kilo.